Wentworth, I won't lie to you. We got our asses kicked there today in court. Yep. It doesn't look good for the church. Wasn't a pretty picture, was it? It was ugly. I think we might lose this case. Even that Ms. Ring-a-ding, or Ding-a-ling, or ying -a -ling, whatever her name yes. is, she yeah. was upset, madder than a hornet. She kept doing this thing with her hair, and then Warren McShane, he looked like a lunatic. I don't know what he was thinking. It's not looking pretty. The client's screaming. I have 22 phone calls in the last five minutes from the client. Oh, from Mr. Miscavige? From his communicator, um, Larice. I see. He has a communicator, you see. So what do we tell him? What kind of damage control do we do with the client? It looks like we're going down the drain on that case. We can always file a, a, a writ of mandamus. Refresh my memory. I've been out of law school a long time. It's a procedural writ to the Court of Appeal uh, requiring or requesting that the court mandate something happen. For example, an interlocutory reversal of an interim order. You don't have to worry about the specifics. It's billable. Look, I'm the big picture guy. As long as you can bill some... Actually, what I do is I kind of manage things. So this technical law thing, I'm sure I remember it from law school, but does it take up time? Oh, it takes up a boatload of time. Good. Does it bill a lot of hours? It takes up more hours than the trade winds or the free winds can circle the globe. <laughs> then I like it. So I tell you what. I'm going to have you call uh, Miss Yingling. Yes. And what is the name of this motion again? Uh, a writ of mandamus. Yeah, tell her that we're going to file, how many do you file, two or three? Well, one. you can do one on each issue. Okay, well I want that done. Call her, this is sort of your baptism by fire, just reassure her that uh, she'll be okay and we have act, an action plan. She'll ask you to write up what's called a battle plan. Mm. That's a church term for our plan of action. So just sort of, uh, ultimately all you're doing is assuring Mr. Miscavige, and he does tend to be, between you and I, a little psychotic at times. Mm. I, I don't know, uh, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be one to diagnose him. But, no, uh, maybe you should take some psychotropic medication. No, 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 no. That, that will never work. Uh, he uh, takes the liquid cure, I believe. Uh. Uh, and nevertheless, do this whatever you're going to do, and then I'll work with their PR department, and I'll issue a terse denial. Mm. This is an attack on a religion by a court. Yes. How dare they? A, 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 an invasion of the free exercise of religion protected by the First Amendment. It's even worse than that. It's soul-crushing, mm. harming the basic freedoms of every man, woman, and child in America. You know, I, I have to make this very dangerous racket thing I mentioned earlier. Yes. So if we go down in flames here, America loses, the world loses, humanity loses. See, I work on these kind of grandiose uh, PR statements, and you file as many motions as possible and copy me. Will do. And if we need your help on this other thing in, in uh, the Bahamas, Yes. Didn't we have a golf game down there, a golf tournament next week? We did. Then can you get this stuff done so we can make it to the golf tournament next week? I'll put uh, an extra three lawyers on it to assist in the billing. Good, because I really don't like the client interfering with our recreation here at We Fuck Men How. No, it's the most unpleasant when so, we're having a downtime, as it were. Didn't you hire four or five junior members, junior attorneys? I hired three in Texas and three in Florida. Okay, we'll put some of those people on it, uh, and, but you supervise it. And when it's done, I want to make sure we go to that golf tournament next week. I'm looking forward to it. Four! <laughs> Splendid.